So you can listen to this practice wherever you find yourself today. You can be sitting down or laying down or even stretching and doing things if that's what you got to do. And hopefully wherever you're at when you listen, this will still be helpful to you in some way. And so if you would like to listen in a still position, just feel free to take all the time you need to arrive there and allow yourself to fidget or adjust or stretch or move in any ways at all that your body wants to move. As you do your best to not think about the movements, but more letting your body move you in the ways that intuitively feel good in your bones and muscles and joints. And if what feels best in your body at any time is stillness, then honoring that need for stillness whenever that's what you need. And there's no rush whatsoever. You can continue to move even throughout this practice whenever you feel the need to. At any time, if you haven't already and would like to, you can find your way to a still position. And just feeling that the spine is nice and straight in whatever pose you've chosen. And if you're in a space where you feel safe and would like to, you can allow the eyes to gently close at any time if they aren't already. As you now mark your arrival into your practice today and into your body today with a full and intentional cleansing breath. Just calling in this fresh new air into the body filling up to every corner and edge of you as you just hold that for a moment once you're full to stay in that sense of fullness and as you need to slowly letting it all go as you exhale bit by bit and just gently pull the navel toward the spine at the bottom of your exhale to really push that last bit of stagnant air out of you as you again pause for a moment to now stay in the sense of emptiness as you allow your next breath to come to you as it's needed. And so you can breathe just like this for as many rounds as feels good and helpful to you. Just exaggerating the four parts of your breath. So it's not important how long your inhales, exhales, and pauses on either side are. But just letting each of these parts be simply exaggerated. Whatever that means for you right now. So when the body naturally feels full and like it would stop inhaling, seeing if you can expand your belly just a tiny bit more to take in one more moment's worth of air and holding off on your exhale for one extra moment to stay in that fullness with a bit more intention. And then as you're ready, as you exhale, letting it all go. And even once you think you're empty, just pushing out one more bit of air to truly empty yourself and staying in that emptiness until your next breath comes to you. And if you're in a place right now where you are feeling maybe like you're at a lack, maybe like you are very scattered and there's different parts of you everywhere and you want to come back to yourself. You can use your inhales as an opportunity 
to call yourself back to you. If you imagine all the different places our energy goes throughout the day that are outside of the body. And you can just imagine all of those strands of energy just turning back and you're calling yourself back to you with each inhale. Just gradually getting more and more of your focus, more and more of your awareness onto you and this moment. And maybe you're in a place right now where you feel perhaps too wrapped up within you. And maybe there's a lot of excess energy within you. And if that is the case, then on your exhales, you can also imagine any of that extra heavier energy simply leaving the body as you exhale. However that looks to you, maybe like a dark smoke or maybe just like a layer being lifted away from you or maybe something entirely unexplainable. And just giving yourself exactly what you need in this moment. And at any point, if you haven't already, you may release all guidance over your breath altogether. As you feel yourself almost stepping back and up in the mind and into the role of the observer or the witness. As you now release this guidance over your breath and you now simply observe the automatic process of your body breathing. Remembering how our bodies do breathe all on their own without any of your direction, without any of your doing. And seeing if you can just watch that process the same way you would watch any other force of nature. When you lay on the beach and just watch the waves roll up along the shoreline. Not trying to change the size or speed of the waves, but just letting them come and go and watching as they do. Even if it's just for a moment, seeing your body's gentle breath just as waves or just as any other force of nature. And making note of any expression that you feel resting on the face right now. making note of any emotions that could be communicated by this resting expression. Maybe the brow is furrowed or the jaw could be tense. The nostrils could be flared or the chin or ears could even be holding some tension. And just allowing your awareness of these areas of tension be all that you need to instead let it go. Reminding yourself that when you let go, when you soften the muscles of your body, when you release remaining tension, just as you do when you are in a deep state of sleep, 
everything is held exactly where it needs to be. And there's absolutely nothing that you should be doing right now. This is not a doing or thinking process, but rather one of listening and feeling, observing. And so just feeling your jaw as it hangs into place and your tongue released from the roof of the mouth. And just allowing your lips to rest softly on one another. As you allow that softness in the mouth to naturally allow your chin to relax a bit deeper. The nostrils. The cheeks and the ears. Even those tiny muscles along your lash line. Feeling those soften as the corners of your eyes just get a tiny bit wider with this release. Your hairline softening back as your forehead gets a little bit wider and deeper. Allowing for a general sense in the face that the muscles are simply ungripping from the bones. Releasing back into the support of the skin. Remembering that you can trust your own anatomy and that you do not need to hold your face in any specific way. But when you let go of all the tension in the face, your skin and bones hold everything intact. And you can allow yourself to just be exactly as you already are. As you now let some awareness just make its way to whatever part of your body is making contact with the surface beneath you. And allow yourself to sink into that surface a little bit more. Allow your pelvic floor to lengthen and widen as your glutes soften a bit further. And you remember the safety that exists not only in your own anatomy, but in your own body on this earth. And that when you fully let go in the body, when you are fully asleep, you will not float away and you will not be crushed. But with the earth beneath you and with gravity all around you, you are held exactly where you need to be. And so just allowing yourself to feel this universal hug, almost. Your skin hugging your muscles, your organs, your bones. And gravity hugging your skin. Hugging you, holding you close to the earth. And just letting some awareness come now to the part of your body that is the highest point in your body. So maybe the crown of your head if you're sitting upright. 
or maybe the entire front side of your body if you're laying down. Or wherever you are, just feeling that part of you that is facing toward the sky above you, almost be magnetically drawn upward as you feel a little bit lighter in the head or the front side of the body, while simultaneously feeling that heavy pull, that heavy sense of safety in the lower half of the body, or the part of your body touching the ground. Just allowing yourself to be as big as you are and to take up as much space as you do. As you now gradually let more and more of your awareness make its way into your own heart. As you feel this rhythm of your own beating heart. And you can always place one or both hands on top of the heart to encourage that feeling from the outside as well, if you'd like. But just syncing up your awareness with this steady background beat to every single moment of your life. The rhythm of the heart that has been pumping life into you since before you were even breathing air from the time you were in your mother's womb up to this exact moment. This heart has been your own personal direct line of connection to whatever source out there lets our hearts beat or makes our hearts beat. This heart is your steady and constant reminder of your own humanity. And a big part of being a human is making mistakes. Is doing things that we someday regret or maybe even immediately regret. And that is another part of being human. Along with all the joy, love, laughter, and with all the pain and sorrow and heartache and everything in between. Where we can make the things or the troubles in our life or the regrets that we have we can make them a lot heavier on ourselves by punishing ourselves even further, by ruminating in them, and by constantly reminding ourselves of these things that we did that we don't like. And that is also a human response. It can be helpful to have regrets and to make note of things that we did that we don't want to do again. And at the same time, we can learn from these things that we've done that we wish we didn't do. And we can use them as reminders and as lessons or guidelines for how we want to behave going forward. Knowing that we will continue to make mistakes. And 
If you think about all of the things you've ever learned in your life, all of the things that you've, all the lessons that you've had to go through and the things that you've taken with you that have helped you grow and become who you are, there's a lot of mistakes in there. There's a lot of regrets in there. Every action you've taken has contributed to who you are right now. And yes, there may be things that didn't have to have happened exactly as they did. Maybe things that you would never want to do again. But at least you now know that. We learn something from every action that we take. Even if it is just if we agreed with that, if that felt good or if that felt bad. And so just reminding yourself that it is possible for you to accept yourself, accept yourself for all that you are, all that you have been, all the mistakes you've made, all the things you've done, even the ones that are painful. It's possible to accept that and yourself fully for who you are in every aspect, while at the same time having a vision or aspirations to be someone different. In fact, it's necessary for us to fully acknowledge and accept who we are based on our actions and based on how we feel inside of us in order to grow toward that vision that we see for ourselves, the ideal version of ourselves that we strive to be. And life is so much more complicated than we can even conceive of. And there will be so many things that happen and that unfold that we cannot plan for. We will have reactions to moments that we someday regret. But again, this is another part of our life journey. It's part of being a human. And you are not alone in your struggles. Every single human out there lives through these human problems. And if you ever catch yourself maybe digging a hole or catching yourself ruminating in the past, in painful aspects of the past especially. You can almost let that ruminating, that feeling of distress, be a cue for you to remind yourself that everything that has happened has happened exactly as it was meant to, even the painful parts. And you now have the power to act in ways that better align with your own heart and with your own wants, needs, and desires, your passions in life that better reflect who you truly are. But we do not need to ignore our past mistakes or completely disown them, pretend they never happened. Because that will just leave us more susceptible to make those same mistakes that we made in the past again in the future. 
So there is a purpose to regretting things. It's a reminder of what we care about, of how we want to be and how our actions differ from that person we want to be. And so it is okay, it is safe to think of those things from time to time. To keep yourself on track of where you see yourself going or where you would ideally like to be. And just take a moment now to simply take in your experience right now. All that you can see, even with the eyes closed. All that you hear. All that you feel and smell and taste. Just taking in all aspects of this moment. As you remember that there is always so much magic and things to be in awe of all around you all the time. And something I find for myself when I'm ruminating in my own past is that I'm often making myself really important in a way and kind of making it all about me and like my decisions are the most important things ever and I ruined something because I made a bad decision when in reality if we take a step back we are just another part of this whole dance that is whatever this life we're all living in is and there's always a bigger picture happening. There's always so much more than we can even imagine happening. And so it can be really helpful to take a step out of yourself, out of your own journey, your life, your past, your future, and just simply witness what this craziness all is that is this life. And things have a way of falling into place when we can link ourselves up with our sense of awe, with our passions, with our sense of purpose, and with the things that make us feel a sense of wonder with the world. And so giving yourself permission to sprinkle in as much wondrous things as you need or want.
And so starting to hear or feel your own heartbeat again, if your attention has traveled elsewhere, or maybe hearing your heartbeat as just another sound in your own personal symphony right now, all that you can hear. And just reminding yourself that you are a part of this beautiful dance that is life. And feeling this heartbeat exist in your own hands as well. Remembering that your hands have the power to create and to heal through all of the love that exists in your heart. From that infinite supply of love that your heart is connected to. Your hands have the power to create all that is on your heart to create. And so if it feels like something you'd like to do today, you can just let the pulse of your hands find each other as your hands come to a prayer position toward heart center. And you feel this contact of your palms to one another. And you allow your heart to lift toward your thumbs as your thumbs press back toward the heart. as you call in one final deep and full breath into the body. And as you exhale, letting go of anything you're ready to let go of, as you allow the head to gently bow. As you take this moment to bow to the source of energy that allows all of our hearts to beat, whatever you believe that to be. And bowing to everyone else in this space who has listened and completed this practice right alongside you. And finally bowing to yourself for choosing to show up today and taking the time out of your busy life for this pure act of self-love and self-care. And may this act continue to heal you through the rest of your days and nights. And may you bring the same love and understanding to everything you do and to everyone that you see. Thank you. Thank you, guys. If you want to stay in this zone a little longer, feel free to float on out of here. I'll be back here on Friday. Thank you, Rhonda. Good to see you. Thanks for all the hearts. Thank you guys for just being here and for listening. Um, I hope you had something that was helpful. And if so, I hope you share that with whoever you want to share that with. Um, thank you so much, Liddy. Awesome. Yeah, this, this app is pretty magical. Um, thank you, Breeze. And yeah, I hope, um, I hope that that was helpful about the ruminating. Because that was literally, it's so funny you said that. Because that was literally like my big theme of this past weekend. Where um, 
I was, you know, just really upset at myself for like doing stupid things. And then my boyfriend said something along the lines of like, no, I get it. I like, I get why you're upset. Like it's, it's, I'm the main character. It's, it's all about me. And like, when he said that, I was like, oh, right. right. <laughs> like it's, it's really making yourself so much more important than the big picture. You know what I mean? And we all do it. We get stuck in it. And I'm so grateful for that reminder because it was uh, so spot on. I was like, oh, my God, of course. It happens every time, too. Every time that I, like, it feels so real. It feels like so, like, what I did was so wrong and so important, such a big deal. And then it's like, it's really just not, it's just not that big a deal. I mean, like, we learn, you know, that that's a good thing. That's a big thing to learn about what we don't want to do going forward and all of those things but ultimately like the world is so big <laughs> it's so massive and we're just a little drop and um we can appreciate a lot more if we keep that in perspective which is a big lesson i learned this weekend so i was really happy to be able to remember to talk about that from you breeze so thank you so much um, thank you so much, Liddy, for your donation. Thank you for any and all donations, any time they come through. They really are amazing and help support me and motivate me to do these lives. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, thank you, Liddy and Breeze. Perry says I'm late, but looking forward to the recording. Awesome. Yeah, and sending love to you too. Thank you guys so much. I mentioned my YouTube channel. This recording will be up there. There is also a lot of videos of me talking. There's a Ruthie Rambles playlist that's like hours and hours of me rambling about my opinions about things, but mostly my uh, life with chronic illness, inflammatory bowel disease, a bunch of surgeries that I've had and things like that. So if any of that relates to you or interests you, it is all out there and a bunch of yoga classes as well. So yeah, Craig says, I bought the new book and was reading it was great. Acceptance is a big theme for me. I've realized I feel different about life and people now, but yet I feel like I keep thinking I shouldn't. I think acceptance is a big theme all the time in a way. It's, it's, uh, it's really difficult, you know? It's hard to, like, things and change. I, there is, I don't know if it's just me and my friends and, like, my circles, but, like, there's massive change happening in every sense of the word. And it's really hard. It's hard when things change. And it's hard to feel different about people and about circumstances, but it is the nature of life. Like everything changes all of the time and attaching ourselves to the way things are only causes us more pain down the road. Um, and just being, you know, doing the work with ourselves so that we can be able to take on the changes that just throw themselves at us without any of our asking for you know we don't ask for things to be insane and change so drastically but they're going to and there's nothing we can do about it so <laughs> the best thing we can do is just learn to ride the, like I think about surfing you know just learn to ride the waves that come rather than trying to like stop the wave from crashing because it's gonna crash and then you're just gonna like be tossed around like crazy but if you can, you know, get on a little board and time it up so you can ride with it, it's an, it can be a lot uh, more fun, I guess. So, yeah, I think that's all I got for you guys. Happy Tuesday. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. And I hope to see you again Friday. Okay, bye-bye.